I don't want anyone hurt or killed from the result of what I do for a living. Communication is important. Everyone on site needs to know what's going on and when things are going to happen. When it comes to clearing the blast area, you can never be too safe. At surface mining operations and construction sites, large amounts of earth need to be moved. Sometimes explosives are used. Even though the blasting process is conducted in a very safe manner, blasting accidents still occur. Many of the surface blasting injuries and fatalities are caused by the lack of good security around the entire blast location. Once the location has been selected for excavation, the blaster designates the blast area. All material displaced by the explosion should fall well within the designated area. Its boundaries should be large enough to accommodate the material and all access roads must be guarded during a blast to ensure safety. Clear communication must be established between the site manager or mine foreman and the blaster. Details of the blast layout, security, and all other safety issues need to be discussed in detail. The time of detonation for the blast needs to coincide with the worker's schedules and area traffic. A pre-blast meeting should be held to discuss the blast plan and the duties of everyone involved. The blasting signals are discussed to ensure everyone understands exactly when the detonation will occur and when the area is clear for traffic to resume. The blaster is responsible for testing the alarms by making sure they operate properly and can be heard throughout the entire blast area. After the blast site is loaded, I clear all personnel and equipment out of the area and post guards at all access points to keep from people from coming back in. Once the blast area is clear, the crew and blaster go to the designated safe area. The blaster checks with the guards to ensure the area is secure, and then the warning alarm is sounded. After all the pre-blast signals have been given and the blaster is confident the area is secure, the shot is detonated. Fire in the hole! Before anyone can re-enter the work zone, I walk the shot to check for misfires or any other dangerous situations before I blow the all clear to let the workers know that they can come back into the work zone. The blaster needs to analyze the results of every blast. Was any debris found near the border of the blast area? Should the blast area be enlarged? Were there any near misses? If so, what caused them and how could they have been prevented? Are more guards needed? Overall, the main concern is, could the shot have been made safer? Good communication is needed on every job but it is an essential tool at sites where explosives are used. Everyone needs to know exactly what their role is. Alarms and signals that are used need to be discussed and understood by everyone. By following the rules and regulations, having good communication at the work site, and having a plan to ensure blast area security, a safe work environment is created for everyone.